Good evening, I'm Keith Cake. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. More trouble tonight for a St. Petersburg widow who waited more than a year for her late husband's grave to finally be marked. The stone was installed after our first story on this dispute, but now there's another issue involving the widow's final resting place. Aid on your side investigator Walt Buteau is here now in studio with his follow-up report. Keith and Stacey, the loss of her husband of 44 years was difficult enough, and the first issue made that even worse. Now the cemetery is looking into what happened to the plot this widow was paying for. Emotions are often raw at cemeteries, but not like this. Oh, you know what Listen, you told me? We took over you three years ago. The last time. This heated discussion erupted over the grave of Fred Lee Thompson, who was 85 when he passed away early last year. The check for the headstone his widow signed was cashed by the cemetery last January, but the marker was not in place until this month. Royal Palm District Director Ivana Robin claims headstone supply problems and Thompson's changes in the wording caused the delay. She signed the contract, not the proof. I because signed a proof with that on it. Honey, we can't do a contract. I signed a proof with that on it, ma'am. But Thompson insists she approved the headstone when she wrote the check more than a year ago. I'm not lying. I'm just going from the You paper ain't going. Y'all just screwed up. Y'all don't know what you're doing here. After her late husband's headstone was finally in place, Thompson noticed another problem. It's very, very hurtful. Really. She says she's been making payments on the gravesite next to Mr. Thompson's final resting place, but now there appears to be someone buried in that plot. Robin told us another burial is possible here. You're saying there's still room to bury her here? Mm-hmm. Where? After we talked at the cemetery, Robin was less positive about whether or not there's enough space. She now says the cemetery is investigating, telling me in an email, we need to measure and probe each grave in the row before I can make a determination. You believe there's any space? No, there ain't no space. To lay you to rest no. next to your husband? No. Thompson says she has no trust in the cemetery and wants her money back. I don't have too much trouble with these people. Sometimes I just sit down and think about it and cry because, I mean, you shouldn't have to do this. Pay your money and go through all this. The cemetery did offer to disinter Mr. Thompson's body, but his widow says that is not something she wants to do at this time or probably ever. And we've reported on some other issues at right, the cemetery right. in the past, including financial concerns. Yeah. Did that play a role in this situation? So we don't know. The previous owner made headlines, as Keith said, after that company went bankrupt. Robin pointed out her company took over after the site had been, in her word, abandoned. She says it's been a daily struggle to reverse the damage caused by the previous owner.